students the subject code and title of the lab we are going to do is e8261 engineering practices lab it consists of two groups group a and group b group a belongs to civil and mechanical whereas group b belongs to triple e department we are going to do experiments in group b department syllabus is shown in the slide the first experiment and the sixth experiment we are going to discuss now the first one is residential house wiring using switches fuse indicator lamp and energy meter the sixth experiment is measurement of resistance to earth of an electrical equipment that is simply known as earth resistance measurement so these are the two experiments we are going to discuss in this session so let us see the objective so before seeing objective so let us see the importance of electric power supply why this lab is common to all departments electric power supply is essential to operate any kind of devices for example if you take mechanical students they need to operate lathe drilling machine and other equipments with the help of electrical power supply for cac and it students they need electric power supply to operate their digital devices such as computer projector and other devices so it is very essential to all students to know about the basics of electrical engineering practices so now, now let us move on to objectives to provide exposure to the students with the hands on experience on various basic electrical practices basic engineering practices in civil mechanical electrical and electronics engineering but here we discuss only about the part b that means electrical and electronics engineering so this is the first experiment in the part b residential house wiring so i have highlighted the word house wiring because this is the experiment you are going to do now residential house wiring using switches fuses indicator lamp and energy meter these are all accessories so let us see the aim of the experiment to construct house wiring using switches fuse indicator lamp and energy before meter before entering into this before experiment we are going to see a small clip lab experiments let us see a small which shows how video. power is entering into clipping. our home from nearby pole to that shows how our service the entrance electrical power is entering into our house so the service and entrance consists of energy meter electric energy loads. meter Load means it may be of either gadgets. analog or digital here digital meter is shown along with fuse fuse is used for protection so digital meter is a versatile meter which is capable of showing all parameters of electrical energy like power factor frequency voltage current but the main purpose of using energy meter is to know about power consumption power consumption is shown in terms of kilowatt hour one kilowatt hour is one unit according to our tariff the service provider will calculate the cost of energy consumed by the consumer okay now we are entering into our home so this is a um, mcb so nowadays the conventional mains are replaced by mcb so the plug point the board consists of plug point switches regulator and another one is the indicator fuse so we can move on to the next slide so here apparatus required okay so what are the apparatus required to construct this experiment so very important apparatus is energy meter electrical energy is provided by service provider called tangent co in tamil nadu it is called tangent co they are the only authority to provide electrical power supply to all 
not only for domestic purpose for industrial purpose also they are providing supply so energy meter that may be of analog and digital so the range is 300 volt 5 to 30 amps so the minimum current is 5 amps maximum may be 30 amps this is for single phase energy meter in three phase energy meter the current rating may be high voltage rating is also 450 nowadays the tangent co service provider slowly replacing the analog devices by digital devices okay because the digital device is a versatile device which consists of lot of advantages over analog devices because by simply seeing the uh, display display of the digital meter the service provider can know how much power is consumed they can simply convert this power consumption into cost so we have to pay for pay the money for our power consumption okay so these are all accessories so that's all about the apparatus record let us move on to next slide so next slide describes the theory theory of this experiment if we see the theory conductor switches and other accessories should be of proper capable of carry maximum current because as per the standard in our country we use isi and bas standard bas standard as per the standard we have to select suitable conductor suitable accessories so conductor switches and other accessories should be of proper capable proper capable of carry maximum current so we already saw a table the table in the previous slide shows the rating for different accessories conductor should be of copper or aluminium you know so both are uh, better conductors copper and aluminium so that's why the conductors are made up of either copper or aluminium so cost of the copper conductor is more that's why most of the in most of the cases aluminium conductors are used in power circuit wiring should be designed for load which is supposed to carry okay so according to the load the power circuit is designed so there are two type of circuits power circuit and lighting circuit the power circuit the circuit carries heavy current more current more voltage is known as power circuit the lighting load may be most of the lighting loads are single phase carrying uh, low current that is below 10 amps okay power sub circuit should be kept separate from the lighting circuit so both should be kept away from each other okay there should be a separate uh, wiring separate panel separate control everything should be separate for both power and lighting circuit so there are two type of circuits power circuit and lighting circuits wiring should be done on the distribution with the main and branch distribution board at convenient centers okay wiring should be neat with a good appearance okay so this is a simple theory about this experiment to discuss the attention required while doing house wiring we need to put our attention that is wire should pass through the pipe or box and should not twist or cross so if you twist or cross what will happen the insulation may get damaged so the in inner part of the wire the aluminium or conductor is exposed to the nearby conductor so there may be a chance of short circuit so it should be avoided second point is the conductor is carried in rigid steel conduit conforming to standards are in a porcelain tube porcelain tube is nothing but pvc tube i think you would have seen uh, for carrying the conductor either rigid steel conduits or porcelain tubes are used so this is the <coughs> simplified circuit diagram of house wiring so circuit diagram if you see the circuit diagram this is one of the greater advantage of electrical system any complex electrical system can be converted into simple circuit diagram so the large huge power system can be brought to a single paper 
okay then we can easily analyze so that is one of the major advantage of electric system similarly the large house wiring can also be given as a simple circuit because if you see this this is a service entrance a single phase 230 volt 50 gets ac then the energy meter we already is we have already seen in the clipping then fuse so i will i will tell what is the purpose of using fuse fuse is connected in series with the phase wire this may be of uh, the fuse rating is calculated according to the load for lighting load it may be up to 5 to 10 amps for other loads power loads like ac other gadgets the higher fuse rating may be used okay then if you see the indicator indicator shows what is the meaning as the name implies it shows the power exist so if indicator glowing means power is existing power is available so we have to be we have to carefully handle this system and if you take another next one switch switch is connected in series with the lamp okay another end of the lamp is connected to neutral so let let us take it as phase this is neutral so l1 is phase l2 is neutral uh, as i already told fuse is connected in series with the phase okay the another end of the lamp is connected to neutral so when the switch is on the light lamp will glow the lamp will on okay so this is one load another load here only one load is given and another one is plug point this is the plug point plug point consists of three wires one is phase so I already told this wire is phase L1 is phase through a switch S2 the phase is given to this plug point and neutral is always connected directly there is no switch connected in neutral so neutral can go directly to loads whatever the load it may be lamp fan or uh, plug point the neutral is directly going okay without any interruption without any control and the third wire is e it is located at the top of this plug point this car it is denoted as the e e means earth so this is for safety purpose the wire is connected to earth so with the help of this plug point you can connect any portable electrical gadgets um, table fan a laptop charges you can tv so any portable devices that can be connected here even fridge ac oven so these are all the uh, high voltage devices that can also be connected so that's why the plug point is provided with the earth so earth is used for safety purpose okay for example if you see if you see the gadgets present in our home some gadgets some gadgets are lively operated for example grinder and mixy you take grinder and mixy so we need to touch the grinder and mixy when it is running when it is live we need not to touch a bulb or any anything but the grinder mixy is such a uh, electrical appliances we need to touch when the gadgets are connected with the supply so that's why care must be taken so for human safety uh, the gadgets are firmly earthed okay this is a simplified circuit diagram from the circuit diagram you should know one thing it consists of two wires phase and neutral phase is connected to uh, all gadgets through switch neutral is directly connected to all appliances and a fuse is connected in series with the phase for safety purpose in order to earthing so earthing used to avoid electrical hazards to safeguard human being from electrical hazards the gadgets are electrical appliances are earthed okay in case of any fault there may be chance of leakage current 
so current may enter into the uh, outer portion of this electrical appliances at that time if you touch the outer portion what will happen because for example if you take a grinder so we have to operate the grinder when it is live so at the time there may be chance of accident electrical accident electrical assault in order to avoid that everything is used so the next slide so it is also similar to the circuit but it is not circuit diagram the actual systems are used here this is the pole electrical pole located near to our home near to our house from which the power is taken and the power is transferred to our house this is analog and this one is digital okay so digital energy meter this is analog energy meter as i already told the analog energy meters are not present nowadays it is replaced by digital meters by service provided so the let us see how the power is entering into our home digital energy meter so it consists of you see there are four pins the power is directly connected to the first two pins phase and neutral the red color wire shows phase the black color wire shows neutral sometimes instead of black blue color can also be used okay so there is no switch fuse any interruption in between this pole and the energy meter and this is the inlet now the outlet of this energy meter so outlet if you see the third point so there must be a fuse i think we already discussed in the circuit diagram fuse is connected in series with the phase okay so next fuse switch must be there switch is also connected in series with the phase only okay now we are going to operate this lamp okay so the phase wire is given to lamp through fuse and switch the neutral is directly connected to lamp so the lamp can be operated by operating the switch by changing the position of the switch the lamp can be switched on and switched off next to lamp we see a fan this is the fan to be operated similarly first we take a phase to take a phase and switch switch must be connected in series but for fan one more accessory is required that is called regulator to reduce because it's a rotating device so we can change the speed of the fan according to our requirement so so during summer season we operate the fan at full speed but during winter condition we need to reduce the speed of the fan that's why we need regulator okay so fan the phase is connected to the supply is given to fan through switch and regulator but for bulb we used only switch as usual the neutral is connected to directly connected to fan so the fan can be operated with the help of two devices switch and regulator first you have to switch on and you have to rotate the knob for speed control and switch one and switch two okay the third one is plug point you see the plug point the plug point also consists of a indicator the red color is the indicator this is on pellet like this is a fuse inbuilt fuse and switch so this is a multiple point um, plug points so this is for lighting load as well as uh, power power load so you can connect a fan like uh, lighting loads or you can connect fridge and ac not ac uh, you can connect other uh, washing machine oven you can connect because the socket consists of two different plug points one is for um, 10 amps another one is for 
30 amps okay so the supply phase is directly connected to this plug point phase is connected here and the neutral okay the neutral is connected here this through switch indicator fuse okay so you can connect any electrical appliances with the help of this plug point and one more thing for safety purpose as already told earth or earthing so the green color wire is the earth wire okay when compared to this wires the thickness of the earth wire may be higher to carry more current in case of any electrical hazard the entire current should be transferred to earth immediately without any loss so that's why we need to use higher thickness wires for earthing okay this is the earth pipe located in uh, fit, fitted in the soil okay so it should be firmly connected with the ground then only the earth resistance is low in case of any fault the earth current can go to the ground through this wire without any resistance this is called earthing okay so from this slide you know what is the purpose of using fuse what's the purpose of using fuse the fuse fuse is a simple wire okay so in case of any fault what will happen the fuse may get blown down so that the entire powers the load can be disconnected from the supply okay so that any electrical hazard can be avoided <coughs> so according to the load the fuse wire rating is selected okay so fuse is also one of the production devices which is used to protect electrical gadgets so this is the main fuse located at the service center some other additional fuses are also used according to our requirement so we already discuss energy meter energy meter is a versatile device which gives information about the power consumption the unit of power consumption is kilowatt hour kilowatt hour one kilowatt hour is known as one unit so according to the tariff the electrical service provider may convert the power consumption into cost so we have to pay the cost so that we can get the power from service provider so here you have to do this experiment in our laboratory actually so due to this pandemic we are doing this experiment in online but actually you should have done this experiment in so later you will be doing you have to do this experiment in our laboratory so you better to understand the procedure for this experiment study and understand the given wiring diagram plug points are connected to phase through indicators for three point plug earth wire is also connected phase wire is connected to light and fan through switches these are all the things what we already discussed neutral wire is connected directly to the load without any switch make the location point for energy meter fuse indicator main switch main switch box switch board lamp and ceiling rows draw the lines for wiring on the wooden board for experimental purpose we use wooden board for connecting all these things in our laboratory these are all available okay so when you come to the college back you will be doing all these things lively place the wire along with the line and fix fix the bulb holder switches ceiling rows sockets in marked po positions on the wooden board connect the energy meter main switch box in the marked position on the wooden board 
give give the supply to wires test the working of light and socket so with the help of a tester so you can ensure the availability of supply and light it will be glowing when it is switched on it will be glowing in fan it is rotating but for a, a, a socket plug point you have to use tester so we are coming to the end of this coming to the end of this session so let us see the viva question answer for this experiment the first question is what is the purpose of providing fuse and which which wire is connected where fuse is connected okay fuse is used for complete protection of entire electrical system including electrical households fuse is connected in phase wire what are the roles of energy meters energy meters are used to know about the power consumption in terms of units also it helps service provided to calculate the amount in rupees for electrical power consumed by the consumer okay so energy meter uh, gives information about consumption not only power consumption it also gives all the details current voltage frequency power factor everything but for home purpose only kilowatt hour that is unit is enough but for industrial purpose the service provider will calculate all the details apart from the power consumption the service service provider will calculate current voltage power power factor everything okay so that's why uh, digital energy meter is a versatile device which gives information about the electrical power supply utilized what is the importance of earthing earthing is provided to avoid electrical hazards to human being in case of any fault okay the earth wire the live electrical appliances are earthed even a separate earth can be used apart from the common earth located at the outside of the house as i already told a okay. separate earth can also be used for uh, live lively operated electrical appliances like grinder okay which wire is used to which wire is connected to lamp and fan through switches phase wire neutral wire is directly connected to loads not through switches what is the type of wiring provided for domestic purpose and mention the specifications there are two type of loads as already to lighting load and power load lighting load wiring is used for domestic purpose the wire is of 1 bar 18 gauge so this is the gauge but actually this um, cross section area is 1.5 square mm okay the current carrying maximum current carrying capability is 10 amps so that's all about this experiment so i hope you would have understood all the concepts of this house wiring thank you